Last week, as I was, when I left work one afternoon, I was going up 27 and got there to the Oak Hill stops, stoplight. I pulled up behind this car and the license plate said, all for me. And I thought, you know, that's it's one thing if you think some things like that, but just to put it out there is a little much, I thought. You know, and of course, my mind as I drove up the road just it I, it stuck with me a little bit, and I kind of thought, you know, that you know, you know, I, I looked at them fairly poorly for the statement they were making just on the back of their car. Of course, and I got to thinking about the examples that we all present. Um, you know, you've, we know that oftentimes we're the only thing that some people will ever see that or meet. You know and that we can have influence on them. Um, there's a lot of passages that come to mind, but I'd like to read a few verses from Titus 2, verses 6 through 8. It says, Likewise, urge young men to be sensible, in all things show yourself to be an example of good deeds, with purity and doctrine, dignified, sound in speech, which is beyond reproach, in order that the opponent may be put to shame, having nothing bad to say about us. Of course, seeing that car, I mean, you know what? I immediately thought kind of poorly of them. However, about got up to the stoplight at Walgreens and pulled up behind another car. It said love like Jesus on their back, on their bumper. Kind of thought a little bad of myself because I didn't think about that first person maybe the way I should have. You know, yes, they were putting a poor example out and they were, you know, they, they were leading others to think poorly of them but then again I didn't think you know I didn't stop for a moment and pray that they find the word or you know something like that so it kind of put me back in perspective myself that you know we don't sometimes that we do we really want to be a good example so we want to put ourselves we want to have a good reputation because oftentimes that's all we can leave with people um, but if we treat people the way Jesus would and we think about them in the way he would we can leave them with nothing bad I'd like to kind of finish with a few verses from 1 John chapter 4 starting in verse 7 it said beloved, beloved let us love one another for love is good or love is from God and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God and the one who does not love does not know God for God is love by this love of, of God was manifested in us that God sent his, his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have, that we might live through him. In this love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation from our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought to love one another. Two things on the back of cars that just kind of sparked me a little bit and made me think. And glad for both of them. Uh, we do need to watch how we present ourselves when we're around other people. As I said earlier, we're the oftentimes, sometimes the only religious person they might meet that day. There's a lot of people that are not exposed to, ver to God's Word in any way, shape, or form, and if we can be a good example to them, we've done well. But also, when we see things like that, remember that they are a soul just like we are and that we need to treat them like that. In the last few verses that I read there, it said, in this, in this love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be a propitiation for our sins. Each time we come together, we want to offer the, an invitation to anyone who may have never come to God, who may have never given themselves up to him, given themselves over to his word, become part of his family. Because for those that are of his family, those that are he loved, that he love, that love him in the right way, he's offered us hope and a home in eternity. If there's any of us that has fallen away and needs prayers, if any has need, please come forward as we stand and sing. <laughs>